Now, the biggest move on the foreign exchange markets on this uh, Tuesday, 5th of September, is a slide in the Australian dollar. What's behind it? Well, it's the Australian interest rate decision, I think, more than anything else, although there is impetus as well coming through uh, from some poor economic data in China. Let's take a look at what happened today from the RBA. The Reserve Bank of Australia kept its cash rate at 4.1% for a third month in a row. In its statement, the RBA said the Australian economy was experiencing a period of below-trend growth and expected it to continue for a while. The RBA warned again that further tightening might be needed to bring it to heel in a reasonable time frame. Yesterday, a Reuters poll on the RBA rate decision said most economists expect a final rate hike next quarter. It added that inflation was still too high in the Australian economy and noted that the services price inflation had been surprisingly persistent overseas and the same could occur in Australia. Add all this up and uh, it was a down day for the Australian dollar, most notably against the US dollar. Now look at this move that we've got here at the moment. We close at these levels. It will be the lowest close on this market that we've seen uh, since the 4th of November. I was talking about this um, this trend trading pattern here that's built up as we broke the neckline of this double top. The double top pattern is where you get to a top at very similar levels. Uh, first top establishes a drop and then you get back up there and then you break that and you extend the line between the two uh, line of resistance and support, extend that down here and you get that low point down here at 6,300, which is a nice round number. And I know as technical analysts, we all look to psychologically important levels. And 63 cents is a particularly uh, good level to watch out for. And as I say, lowest since the 4th of November uh, last year. So there's weakness in the Australian dollar. But if you are a foreign exchange trader, there's an opportunity here to trade against a number of currencies. Uh, and if this trend continues, and if you're short in any of these, you'll be making money at the moment. Big drop today against the Canadian dollar. This is the biggest drop that we've seen there since the 23rd of June. Uh, similar sort of thing, I think this area at 62.25 is an area of interest to watch out for. Uh, for that, uh, let's take a look at what's happening as well against uh, the other areas of the market because uh, the Aussie is down against a whole basket of currencies. It's down against the Japanese yen, approaching this line of support at 93.09, which is the 61.8% retracement that we tried to break and failed to break before. Uh, from the Fib that started back on the 31st of May, the swing high uh, we saw on the 19th of June. And this is an area of interest, I think almost certainly uh, worth watching. Let me just pull this out to get you some more um, evidence as to where we are and some better levels or better graphics to work with. They are 93.10 is this line to break. You get a candle close below there, which coincides with the 100 period moving average. You're then on the way down to the 200 day moving average at 92.01. Uh, which is the next line of support to watch out for for the Aussie against the Japanese yen. Against the euro, similar sort of price action today at 93, uh, 59.30, I beg your pardon, on the way down uh, for a second day in a row. So the Aussie short against a whole basket of currencies. Mm -hmm.